came across this fascinating trunk drag trail. Elephants use their trunks to sniff and track trails. Scents in the area act as a public information resource. Elephants possess the strongest sense of smell ever identified in any single species, and the African elephant's genome contains the largest number of olfactory receptor genes in the animal kingdom. Judged by the footprint, this looks like Benny's, the dominant bull here in the Uchap. The typical trunk drag looks like this because the trunk is held at a right angle. But with this particular one, the trunk was twisted, resulting in the imprint of the two fingers that is found at the end of the trunk. African elephants have two prehensile fingers, while Asian elephants only have one. Two fingers tend to pinch objects, while one finger tends to wrap. An elephant trunk is a marvel of biology. Without any joints or bone, it may be one of the most sensitive body parts in the animal kingdom. It contains a staggering 400,000 nerve endings. Nerve endings or sensory receptors play a critical role in transmitting signals to the brain, transforming various sensations like heat, pain and pressure into electrical impulses. With 400,000, a huge amount of information is carried back and forth. The trunk is an appendage made of pure muscle, 40,000 of them, compared to only 650 in the human body. It is capable of uprooting trees, lifting 300 kilograms of weight, but can also pick up a single blade of grass. David Yu, a professor at Georgia School of Mechanical Engineering, compares an elephant's trunk to a Swiss army knife or a leatherman because of its incredible versatility. It can detect scents, grasp objects, blow things away like a leaf blower and sniff like a vacuum cleaner. This is the dominant bull Benny, busy eating twigs of the Anna tree, a favorite of the desert adapted elephants. Benny is collared and carefully monitored by the Elephant Human Relations Aid or ERA. An adult elephant's trunk can be up to two meters long and weigh 140 kilograms. Here Benny is resting his trunk on his tusk. The nostrils can be dilated in order to increase its nasal volume by 64%. The trunk can inhale at speeds exceeding 149 meters per second. It is almost 30 times as fast as a human sneeze. This beautiful lady lying down here is the Liyue, resting during the daytime heat. They can suck up 3.7 liters of water in one and a half seconds and store between 9 and 12 litres in their trunks. Fury, the two and a half year old baby elephant, can just manage to quench her thirst. They intertwine trunks 
to show reassurance, kindness and affection. This is Fabio showing affection to Ulisset just after he got his foot stuck in a tire, featured in a previous video. The characteristic trumpet sound is produced by forceful expulsion of air through the trunk. The trumpet is followed by a rumble. Possibly they were threatened by something. The Chona, a young cow in the combined herd in the Uhap area, is using her trunk to take a dust bath. Elephants have whiskers on their trunks. Whiskers detect very faint vibrations caused by changes in air currents and act like a radar detector. But scientists conclude that elephants don't whisk. However, the ventral trunk ridge whiskers are involved in object balancing, like Benny is doing here. So this amazing appendage helps elephants eat, drink, trumpet, smell, grab objects and communicate. Elephants are known to communicate with seismic vibrations produced by impacts on the earth's surface or acoustical waves that travel through it. They appear to rely on their leg and shoulder bones to transmit the signals to the middle ear. But I can't help but wonder what role the trunk plays in seismic communication. At the Brandberg White Lady Lodge, the elephants have learned to open taps at the campsites. Even though there are two water points for them, they still prefer structured water from the taps. Doris, a cow in her 40s, is demonstrating here how they became masters in using their trunks to open taps and Tashis, the maintenance manager, eventually had to adjust the plumbing to accommodate them. I have often seen elephants with their trunks on the ground, like Benny here, as if they are listening, and then all of a sudden start walking, as if they got the message. Researchers in Namibia have found that elephants are able to detect a rainstorm from distances as far as 150 kilometers. I suppose it is done by using the 400,000 nerve endings in their trunks. I would love to know what story Benny's trunk picked up here. <laughs>